Good morning, everyone. It's Candace, the LA Facialist. And this morning I'm gonna to talk to you about sunscreens and show you a few of my favorites. As you probably know right now, it is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, I think that every esthetician on the planet is driving that point home. And it's because it's a very serious um, topic. Uh, melanoma is one of the deadliest and most common forms of cancer, and it's completely preventable. And the way we prevent it is by wearing sunscreen. Um, obviously, we want to wear sunscreen to prevent cancer, but if not for health, like do it for vanity. Because at some point, every single person will come in to an esthetician, a dermatologist, and they'll be like, help me remove the damage that I've done. Help me increase uh, collagen. And the sun is depleting your collagen, it's weakening your elastin, it's creating pigment, it's creating cancer. So avoid it and use, and use sunscreen. Um, as I mentioned, it is one of the deadliest forms of skin cancer and it is preventable. I could go on and on about this, but I'm just going to shut up and show you what I like because that's what you're here for. Um, Extreme Protect SPF 30. This is my holy grail of sunscreen. If I could choose one forever and never try another, this would be it. Um, this is actually the product that got me to fall in love with sunscreen, and I hate to admit this, but it's true. Uh, I was an esthetician for years before I started wearing daily sunscreen. I was preaching sunscreen, but I wasn't applying it myself. And that's because every sunscreen I had tried had such a bad texture. Um, it would pill if I put makeup over it, or it was sticky, or it left a shadow or a cast. and. It just, I couldn't get into it. So I didn't wear it. I wore sunscreen and my makeup, of course, but um, never applied a true skincare product that was sunscreen. So I tried this and I was like, holy shit, how did I not know about this product? Um, even though I was selling it, I just had never put it on myself. So I'm gonna stop and show you exactly why this is so amazing. So it looks really thick, but when you apply it onto the skin, it blends in instantly. Look, no weird gray, purple, white cast. This is a physical and chemical sunscreen, so you get the benefits of both. And I always explain physical sunscreens are your mineral sunscreens, they're titanium and zinc based. And what they do is they create a shield so that they reflect the light off of the skin to avoid the, the UV rays from penetrating. Chemical sunscreens are absorbed by your skin and what they do is they take the UV ray, they absorb them and they convert the UV ray to heat and then your, your skin releases the heat. Um, I really prefer a combination of the two. Um, I, If I had to pick one over the other, I would go towards a physical sunscreen um, because you're actually blocking. But the reason I like a combination approach to sunscreen is that physical sunscreens only work where you apply it. And there's no way to truly guarantee that you're getting exact perfect application on the entire surface you're covering. So the spheres of chemical sunscreen are like your buffer. They go between the areas that might have been skipped in the physical process so that you're truly covered and protected from all of the damaging UVA, UVB, UVC rays. Um, this sunscreen is also obviously very hydrating. You can see I have a really nice glow. So for me, I'm an oilier skin type. I don't use any other moisturizer during the day. Um, I use my serums in the morning, my antioxidant serums, and maybe a little hydrating serum, and then this, and that's it. I don't need an additional moisturizer because this is so nourishing, and it's more than just a sunscreen. It's truly an anti-aging product, and very nourishing and moisturizing as well. So. This is my all-time die-hard favorite product. I feel like everybody on the planet can use it and pretty much everybody I've ever recommended to use this product tells me how much they love it. So that's my number one sunscreen, okay? Next, I recently fell in love with this from Super Goop. This is Glow Screen, and I kind of think of this as like a primer. Um, I'm not a big makeup wearer, but I love a nice glow, and I like to give my skin a little bit of a more even tone by using a tinted sunscreen, and I'll show you that here in a minute. But this is my second sunscreen of the day, and I know you guys are probably thinking I'm a psychopath because I do a triple cleanse at night, and I do three sunscreens in the morning. Um, it's not to say that you know, the Extreme Protect doesn't cover enough. It's just that I love this product and I want to use it and I like how it makes my skin look. So it turns out that my three must-have products in the morning have sunscreen. So 
the more the merrier. Um, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. It's so pearly and beautiful. So this will blend onto any skin type. I know it looks kind of like a nude pale color, but it'll go on a deeper skin tone as well. And I'm gonna get up close to show you what a beautiful glow this creates. So using it in true highlighter fashion, I'm putting it on the high points of the face, putting it right along my brow, putting it on the cheeks, down the nose, chin. So you always wanna highlight those areas of the face. I'll stand back, maybe we can get some better lighting, I don't know. But this, I just love how my skin looks. I like a very radiant look. I like a very dewy, wet look. I'm not into matte, so if you like an illuminated, dewy look, then this one is for you. Looks so good. So yeah, this one is SPF 40. So you can use this alone if you prefer. Um, but like I said, I put the first one on um, prior to because I consider that to be more of my skin treatment and moisturizer. Okay, moving on to a tinted SPF. I can't say enough good about this product. If you guys are using this, you're obsessed too. I've had so many of my clients tell me that they've thrown out their sunscreen, uh, I mean their foundation because of this. Um, you don't need foundation with this product. It blurs out imperfections. It gives your skin a more unified complexion without putting heavy makeup on. And it comes in one shade. Um, this blends onto most skin types perfectly. I will say if you're a deeper skin tone, you probably need to blend it more. Um, but I have people who have deeper skin tones and they're using it and they say that it works just fine. So it's something you definitely have to test out. If I'm being honest, I hope that Skin Better will create a couple more shades to make it definitely more unified and, and who can use it without issue. I want everybody to be able to flawlessly apply it just like I do. Um, so hopefully they'll come out with that. The other thing I hope is that they'll create a bigger one because I blow through this so fast. Um, the reason I love it so much is it's a compact, so you can take it with you. You can throw it in your purse, your gym bag, your whatever bag, and apply throughout the day. And reapplication is just as important as applying it in the morning. So this brand has made it so easy and convenient to do that, um, which gives you no excuse to apply and reapply. So I hope everybody will get on board with the reapplication. If you're outside, you should definitely be doing it at least every two hours. Um, if you're inside, you should reapply as well because we do get rays and damaging effects from our phones and our computers and the overhead lighting and all of that. So ensuring your skin is protected is huge. And this is great because it doesn't disrupt how you look. It actually will even you out and make you look better. So this comes with a sponge. I prefer to apply it with a brush just because um, I'll use the sponge if I'm on the go and I have it with me to reapply. Um, but I like a more of like a foundation brush or a fluffy brush to apply it. And I'm just buffing it along. And you'll see how nice and even. I'll do one side first, actually. Do one side to show you guys what's up. So this is the primary. Um, makeup I use. I don't even use a, a foundation or a tinted moisturizer anymore. Um, I will put a little concealer under my eye in the morning and then I'll slap on like some bronzer um, and blush just to brighten my my face up. But look at how much more even this side is than this. It's just, it gives a makeup effect. And even at nighttime when I'm going out, this is like what I use for foundation. I stopped using foundation altogether because this looks bomb. <laughs> you can see the difference. It's just more even, more unified, more put together. That's what I love about this. So I'm gonna apply on this side to even it out. And you can still see a nice glow coming through from the glow screen, so. You still get that illuminated look, but it does tone it down. I don't look just like super shiny and reflective anymore. This definitely tones it down a bit. So on a normal day, if I were going to work or if I were going out and cared what I was looking like, I would put, like I said, some concealer on, some blush, but this is 
basically my everyday makeup look. I probably handle my eyebrows too. They're getting a little squirrely in this quarantine. But that's it. So my three must have sunscreens, Extreme Protect SPF 30, Super Goop Glow Screen, and the Skin Better Sun Better Tinted Compact. These three sunscreens have you covered for whatever you have going on, whether you're just lounging and don't care what you look like, whether you wanna be glowing and radiant, or if you want your skin to be perfected, even, and beautiful. Or you can use all three like me, and this is what you get. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and wear your sunscreen.